My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here with my review for the series premiere of Fear the Walking Dead. And this is a companion series to The Walking Dead. It's not a spinoff at all. Just to let you know. But after watching this pilot, I have to say I really did enjoy it. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of this first season progresses. But uh, I guess we could start with what is, would be the bad thing about this in this pilot, which you could say this that it was slow. Which, when I think about it more, you know, it kind of makes sense because I mean, this is original. It's not adapted from the comics. It's its own thing in this world that we've been familiar with for almost five years. Just seems like yesterday that I first watched The Walking Dead. But the things I liked about it is uh, one, you know, this this show takes place in LA rather than Georgia. So you're dealing with cities. You know, you don't have woods to go run into to scavenge stuff. So, and as they always say, it's bad to be in a big city in a, any type of apocalypse at all. Because of big groups of people and scavengers, but yeah, but uh, continuing on with that is the fact that this show takes place in like when the outbreak is first starting, rather than being a month into the apocalypse, which uh, it gives this show its own thing, makes it its own original thing rather than being a copy paste of the other show. So, that's why I like. You know, and also, it has its own different types of characters. You know, uh, they're different in that area than in Georgia. You know, they're, they're different people dealing with different types of problems. Drug problems is one of those things. But, uh, yeah, but the other thing I enjoyed the most is the fact that the casting, I have to say it was really well done. It seems like every person fit their character. They kind of they kind of felt it felt right on their characters. There was a couple people I was familiar with. One, uh which is the the son that's on there's a junkie. Uh, he played t young Tom Riddle back in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I already knew about it, but I thought it was kind of cool to see him in the show. You know, it's kind of weird that, you know, he once played a little kid, and now he's like 24. So, it's just so weird. And the, uh, the guy that is um, kind of the stepfather type of figure to these kids... But I believe he's supposed to be a fiancé. Which, uh, the only thing I know of that he's been in is <laughs> that terrible The Last Airbender movie. That one. Avatar The Last Airbender. But, uh, yeah. Everyone did fit their part very well. And, uh, just like I said before, I really did enjoy this episode. Uh, there's only six episodes in this first season. Just like how The Walking Dead first started. Except they started with a two-hour premiere. Whereas they had a one and a half. Which makes sense on uh, this show to have extended premieres. Because, I mean, especially when it's the series premiere. You know, you gotta have room to kind of spread it out. To kind of show you what's happening. Telling you what's happening. You know, and I like show, that's the one thing I like about The Walking Dead. They'll do extended episodes, whether it's a premiere or a finale. That's what I like about these shows. That's what I like about them. But one thing I would like to see in the future of this show, it doesn't have to be in the first season. It could be in, the, like, uh, the second season would be to kind of like put little Easter eggs in the show. I mean, it could be a mixture from the other series or from the comics that hasn't been brought into either show. That would just be nice. 
Heck, even if it's like a little, little Easter egg to like the Walking Dead video game. And I'm talking the good one, not the piece of crap one from 2013. But uh, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on this premiere and um, what would you like to see in the future of the show, which the show has already been ordered a second season. This was like before the show premiered. I forget how long, maybe like a week or so. And it's uh, right now it is set at 15 episodes per season two. So, hey, we get we get the episode amount that we're used to from the other show as the regular. So that's a good thing. But like I said, let me know your thoughts and also what you would like to see in the future of this show. And also be on the lookout for my other reviews. And don't forget. Walking Dead returns October 11th. So we got this show to bide our time a little before we riot and murder everyone. But as always, my name's Jimmy, and until next time, bye.